filament leftovers suck. You have this filament that you already paid a lot of money to get, but now you're stuck with a little bit of rest of it and don't really know what to do with it. You don't know if it's enough for a full print, but also you don't just want to throw it away. So today I want to take you through some options what to do with your filament rests and use up all that sweet sweet plastic that you have. The first thing is always printing stuff that you're always gonna need. Things that come to mind here are models that are ideally really small so you can print a lot of them and stuff that you're always gonna need as I said before and ideally also where the color doesn't really matter because you know you're just gonna print off ends of filaments that you just have laying around. For me my go-to here are filament clips with my ever-expanding amount of filament rolls that I have laying around. I always need these little clips to organize and store the rolls when I'm not using them right now. Personally I can really recommend this filament clip and of course you'll also have the link in the description down below. The next thing that's also super easy print are these cable filament loops that I made myself. Since they're only two layers wide they take very little filament and it's always nice to manage your cables better and just have these on stock if you ever want to organize something. So also yeah I just print these out whenever I have some filament leftovers and these work super nicely. The last thing that I frequently print out are these replacement blades for my bed scraper. These don't take too much filament as well and since these are kind of a thing that's being used up constantly, I just print these out whenever I have some leftover filament and always have a good supply of them coming in and I don't have to worry about these things, you know, getting dull or kind of, yeah, being worn out because I have so many replacements left. These are just a couple ones that I can recommend personally. Of course, it's also good for you to find your own ones as you know, everybody has different circumstances and things that might make sense for us. I can definitely recommend you watch this video by Jonathan from The Next Layer, where he made a full video just of ideas on, you know, last meter prints that could really help you or inspire you for what you're gonna print if you have that little bit left over. The next thing I can really recommend when using up your last bits of filament is printing in sequence. This might sound like a little inconsequential change at first, but it actually makes a lot of difference. When you're printing all these small prints that I was talking about before in a normal setting, then you're running into one specific problem. You're either printing everything or in case you run out of, even if on the last percent, all of your prints will be left unfinished and all of them can be basically thrown away. And since we're trying to use up all of the filament that's left and not print something that's safe and then still have something left over, this is a really important technique. Because with this, every single object will be printed one after another. So that means if you're printing 10 things and you're running out of filament on the ninth, you will still have perfect prints for the first eight and then only one is unfinished and has to be thrown away. That's a big, big improvement instead of, you know, having printed all at the same time and then having to throw all of them away. The one drawback with printing by object is that all of the little 3D prints have to be spaced out pretty far to give your print head enough room to move around it. So that means you can fit a lot less prints on this, but usually since we're just using up the last bits of filament, it doesn't really matter that much, especially with small prints as well. The way how to do this is really easy. For example, here in Orca Slicer, you just go into the Others tab, and then when it comes to print sequence, you change the setting from by layer to by object. So now each object is gonna be printed separately, and you know, all of your problems are gonna be solved. The nice thing is also that the auto layout function knows how much space is needed and will automatically separate this and spread it out in the way that everything can be printed no problem. This is definitely a big thing because it really enables you to print to the last bit of filament and use all of that without throwing too many prints away. Another really cool option is this Sunlu filament connector. The cool thing with this device is that you can just take two or more filament leftovers and connect it into one long filament again so you can use that for bigger projects even. I want to preface this segment by saying that Sunlu sent me this filament connector for free, but my opinions and all of my experience with these are still my own. Unboxing this little device was super straightforward. You get the filament connector, it's USB powered so it's very easy to run it from wherever, and also you have these little tubes that go around the filament that you're trying to join to keep it in the right shape. It has a touch display and you can select various different filaments or a temperature that you want yourself. But in general, for example, I just used the PLA preset, heated it up and then put the filament in there, waited for a little bit. And yeah, 
basically your filaments are joined. The one thing I have to say though is it takes a little bit of getting used to. In the beginning I didn't push at all together and obviously that didn't give enough contact and the filaments weren't joined properly. Then I started pushing a lot which led to irregularities on the point where the actual two filaments met because it just kind of squeezed outwards. So it did take some getting used to of just applying gentle pressure, putting both of the filament parts together and having them fuse perfectly. So definitely there's a learning curve to using this design, but once you have it down, it's actually not that hard and you can repeat it. Also, I like that there's a built-in cutter for the PTV tube, so you just put it in there, push it down, cut it, and then you can just take that off easily. So all in all, this is a really and fairly easy way to join filaments, especially if you're having like a lot of either almost empty rolls or leftover filaments. I think you definitely have to worry about only joining the same kinds of filaments, so all different kinds of PLA will work, but you know, you can't really join PLA with PADG, which also wouldn't make sense, but yeah, just putting that out there so everybody's on the same page about that. Once you have everything connected, you need to transfer it onto one spool or otherwise make sure that it doesn't tangle and just go bad. So there's a lot of still manual work in this whole process, which I honestly didn't like that much, but it depends. I think it's certainly a really nice and cool tool to use up all your filament rests, but you have to see how often will you actually use this and does it make sense for your personal situation. I think people that print a lot and have a lot of leftovers, this could be really helpful. If you're just an average user, you'd really have to see why does this make sense for you to get this product specifically. My second to last option is using an AMS or some sort of material changer and a refill function if your printer does support that. With that, you can easily just print off one roll and then have it automatically, which is a really nice and important thing, just use up the next roll. This really depends on what kind of things you're using, you know? For example, to use Bamboo's refill option, the filament has to be the same kind, so PLA and PLA, but they also want you to use the same color. So if you're using their filaments with the NFC tag, it's really hard to get this working with different kinds of filaments. If you're just doing it manually, you can just manually set this to the same kind of filament and the same color and just have it print through while automatically refilling. This is nice because it doesn't require that much, you know, manual interaction. But then again, you can only put four filaments on the AMS at a time. So if you're having, let's say, really small bits of filament left, then this doesn't make a lot of sense because it might be more of annoyance than actually helping you. I'm not sure if or how this works with other filament changer systems, but it definitely is worth looking into because it might be a good solution. The last thing that I do if I really just have a little tiny bit of leftover, I often use it for my 3D printer pen. That uses very little filament and I can just like throw it in there and use it up for a little bit. Be it strengthening parts with a 3D printer pen, just doodling around and doing something fun with it, or even welding pieces together. If you're interested in hearing more about a 3D printer pen, you can check out my video up there. That's definitely a very nice way of using up the little last bits that you could never use with a 3D printer even. So these were all my tips on using up your last bits of filament. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like best or if you think I forgot some important ones. You know, I'm always open to learn and I think it's really a shame to waste those last little bits of filament that you can't use for much. So, you know, I'm really interested in learning other ways and would be happy to hear from you. If you're looking to buy a new 3D printer, some filament, or even the Sunlu filament connector that I was talking about earlier, check the description down below for all the links that I have. And if you're still interested in what to watch next, I have this great video that you should check out. These are my favorite 3D printing tools, and honestly, I think many of these are a game changer. They're gonna make your life easier, it's gonna make printing faster, and just in general, less of a hassle. So watch that video and check out if, you know, there's that one thing you don't have right now and that might really make the difference for you. Until then, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.